Today I'm gonna to be sharing a styling tutorial using the new Ion Pro One Glide Dryer in the Ion Lux Adjustable Deep Waver. So to show you how this works, on the back of the hair dryer, there's a power switch, and on the opposite side, there's a glide control button, which is gonna control the heat and the power of the motor. Above that is a cool shot button to set your style and an attachable concentrator. Next, I'm going to share with you the Ion Lux Ceramic Adjustable Deep Waver. This deep waver has three temperature settings up to 410 degrees and four adjustable barrel heights from loose to deep waves. So to begin, I'm going to be blow drying the base of my hair back away from my face. That way I'm going to get more volume, more versatility, and I'm staying off of my ends since those seem to be what dry first. And I'm going to do this until I get my hair about 80 or 90% dry, and then I go in with the Ion Round Brush. This is going to give me more tension, smooth out my hair, and give me a better blowout. And I like to stay high up against the root with the brush, that way I continue to get that great volume. After finishing the very bottom section, I'll then take down some hair and then move up toward the top of my hair. And whenever I'm blow drying the front of my hair, I always like to blow dry it in several different directions. That way I get more versatility, the hair moves around, and I can kind of part it wherever I want depending on my style. And I always like to blow dry using the concentrator on the front of the dryer parallel with the brush. That way I know I'm getting the smoothest blowout possible. And whenever I'm done blow drying and getting that heat style in, I go ahead and hit the cool button. That way it'll set that style that I just put in my hair with the round brush. And this is the finished product of the blowout with that dryer. So from here, now that I know I have a smooth, blow out with a lot of volume, I can move on using my deep waver. So I'm going to section out the bottom of my hair. And clip up the rest of it. So beginning, I'm going to adjust my deep waver to the highest setting because I know I want bigger waves on the bottom. And I like to move in about one by two inch sections. That way I know all the hair is touching the heat tool. Once I've finished my bottom section, I'm going to go ahead and take out a mid section. I'm going to adjust my deep waver to more of like a medium tousled wave. So as I move up the head, I'm going to make my waves smaller and smaller. And that's what I love about this deep waver because I can adjust how uh, big or small or tight these curls are. And moving on to the last section, I pull down the top. So I'm going to adjust my deep waver to a lower setting. So this is going to give me a tighter wave pattern, but what's also nice is I have a lot of short layers on the top of my hair. So sometimes a large barrel deep waver is too big for that length of hair. So the fact that I'm able to adjust my deep waver to a tighter setting allows me to still get a nice wave through those sections of my hair. And when I move to the bang section, I'm going to stay a little bit off of my base because I want more volume on the sides. And I don't tap it for that long because I want a less dramatic wave around my face.
and this is the final look. So all of my hair is deep waved. I have a very seamless, easy to do, lived in look. And you can even turn it into up styles that need more texture. It'll give you volume. Um, so a really fun look, easily done. I did it in three different sections and using a hot tool that does several different lengths in one. So to break this up, I can go ahead and put a brush through my hair and that way it looks a little more lived in. And it's ready to wear big or styled. And that's how I did my hair today. Thanks for watching.